there is perhaps no other form of transportation more emblematic of American progress and individualism than the automobile. In cities like Detroit, the birthplace of the modern car industry, the automobile is celebrated as a form of cultural expression and uniquely American technology. The automobile redefined the infrastructure of the United States. In the post-World War II boom of the 1950s and 60s, the federal government subsidized the interstate highway system, forever linking concepts like American progress and American exceptionalism with images of the open road. However, automobiles shield us from their most immediate effects upon our lived environments. When we drive down a busy highway on a blistering summer day, we don't feel the heat from the pavement or hear the sounds of the engine as we drive along in our comfortable air-conditioned cabs. Uh, it's also interesting that at least some commentators date the Anthropocene from the late 18th century as the beginnings of the Industrial Revolution. As we start to, to burn coal, uh, that's when we start to act you know, as a civilization at a planetary level and actually change our own environment. Uh, and, and part of the Industrial Revolution is uh, we, we invent a, a complete, a, a transformative scale of, of technology and machinery. And, and as you know, um, the, this machinery requires human beings to adapt and, and change their behavior. So, you know, this, we, this goes by Taylorism, Fordism, ultimately the assembly line. And, uh, and our philosophers call the effect of this on people alienation. As people are alienated, uh, they, the world is reified and objectified, and we lose our sense of agency. So individuals working in factories, having their behavior uh, correlated to fit with the machine, um, uh, no longer recognize the uh, consequences of their own actions. And this is psychosis. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of madness. Uh, I mean, in a civilizational level where people can't see uh, the results of their own uh, their own behavior, and so it's called fetishism or, or whatever, um, in commodity culture.